Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're a little out of date. How bad could they be? I mean, what if the zombie apocalypse happened and this was all there was left to eat? If this is my last YouTube video, then I guess it was a bad idea. But you can't work in the garden unless you fuel the machine. Eric Swalwell, a sitting congressman on the House Intelligence Committee, slept with a Chinese spy named Feng Feng. If you want to record political commentary, do that on your channel. Yeah, this is about lawnmowers. Okay, go for it. Today we have a Craftsman LT1000 from 2001. It's got a 17 horsepower Briggs and Stratton overhead valve engine and automatic transmission. It had flat tires and a dead battery, but the previous owner said it would run. So here it is. Dang. This is 8.6. What did this one do? Boring. the battery on a charger, put some air in the tires, It starts, yeah. it goes, no, and it no, stops. That's all you need a car to do, but a lawnmower needs to do a little bit more. It needs to have the blade engaged, and in this lawnmower, the blade engagement cable is broken off. I put some vice grips on it, and that's enough to engage the blade, but it makes it really hard to steer and work the automatic transmission. You really need three hands. So we're gonna take a look at that today and see what we can do. I see one problem already. The blade engagement cable is laying on the belt that drives the blades and pulley, and it's worn through the casing already, so we'll have to fix that. That only seems to be a problem when the deck is in the fully up position. The return spring that runs from this slot to the front of the uh, drive mechanism is missing so that'll have to be replaced. That's the spring that's responsible for disengaging the blades. First thing we're going to do is clean all the grass off the cutting deck. 